Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be talking about a Hulu series called The Patient. This is a 10 episode series. Um, it is only just one season and each episode is about I would say not, not even 30 minutes so it's definitely a show that you can finish very quickly. This stars Steve Carell as Alan and Domnell Gleeson as Sam and y'all already know I'm probably messing up his name. We also have David Allen Greer who plays as Charlie, Linda Amond as Candace. Now this series is about Sam who is a serial killer and he is trying not to murder people anymore. He goes and seeks uh, counseling, seeks uh, therapy with Alan who's played by Steve Carell. The series generally starts off with Steve Carell waking up in a panic He's down in this basement in this room. He's chained up to the bed. He can only walk so far. We go straight in into the nitty gritty of what's happening in the situation that we're in. So Sam was seeing Alan professionally at his office, but he couldn't quite communicate his overall issues, aka killing people, in that particular setting. So he decided to kidnap him and tie him up so they could have one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions the way that he wants to have, so that way he can come fully clean that, hey, you know what? I'm a serial killer. I enjoy killing people. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I do want to stop. And I feel like this is going to be the best way for us to kind of achieve that is for you to be here long term see what you can do to make me stop killing people the urge of killing people and i don't think this is a spoiler because i think when i did see the trailer i did see this particular thing but if by any chance it wasn't i guess it's gonna be a spoiler but i honestly feel like it was part of the trailer sam's mother is very much aware of what is going on she knows that her son has problems it's a serial killer but you know still a good boy but she is not gonna turn her son in no matter what she's going to stand by her son she knows about alan being down in the basement you know goes down gives him breakfast and all that other uh, other jazz alan threw out all this is going of course through his own personal dilemmas he just recently lost his wife i believe it was to cancer he had the falling out with his son they are jewish and throughout the son growing up he ended up um converting into or i don't know i don't know would it be converting or just changing into orthodox jew which apparently is like more hardcore jew and the effects of him becoming apparently more jew or the correct jew which is what alan says in the sh in the series really affected the family just overall we have a lot of self-reflection um within alan's standpoint because obviously in the situation that he's put in he's kidnapped you get a lot of flashbacks with um with an alan standpoint the happy moments that he had with her when she was around when the kids were smaller and then the downfall with the son and the argument that they had and you know just him growing as a person as well and getting his therapy internal messages with somebody else uh, to kind of help them process all this. I think I give you guys a nice little description overall of what the show is without giving you too much of what's going on in the show because you definitely need to see this uh, again uh, each episode uh, i don't even think it's a fully uh, 30 minutes and you, you get through it so so quickly it is only 10 episodes they're there ready for you to watch on hulu um if you haven't already give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other of my videos uh the patient it has great acting it has a great story we have really good character developments um it, it it gives you a sense of like oh my god like what really is going to happen um there's also like a bit of heart to it uh more so towards the end if you're a crier like me definitely have your tissues ready because i was not prepared for tissues and it, it, it the way that everything kind of plays out is really good uh the going back and forth within the time jumps um it's done really really great i know some people are really not a fan of flashbacks um if you're not a fan of that this is probably not gonna be a show for you because there is a lot of going back and forth because again we had that self-reflection uh for alan you guys it's a really really great show if you haven't already seen the patient i definitely i uh, think that you should binge this show that is my rating it moves very very well the story again just the 
develops really good. Steve Carell is, is amazing. Um, just overall his range from you know comedic to to dramatic. I definitely like him better in the dramatic roles and that's something that I always say about comedians is that yes they're funny and everything but when they do transition into more serious roles and we see them in that dramatic deal I'm like dude like where have you been like you should have left the comedy behind which i love your comedy stuff as well but like you are thriving here like you do so good in dramatic situations yeah you guys those are my overall thoughts on the patient let me know down below if you checked out this uh show if you haven't are you gonna watch it are you gonna pass on it if you are in the mood for another serial killer series um then this is another one to watch if you don't want it to be like as hardcore as the Dahmer story one then this could be another option for you for me today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye